Hi, my name is Michael Colton, and this is the Portable SDR. It's a pocket-sized, two-way, shortwave radio. I designed it for people that want to stay connected when they're out backpacking, hiking, or when traveling abroad. The Portable SDR gets its name from the fact that it's a software-defined radio. What that means is that most of its functions are handled in software instead of with dedicated electronics. The reason this is important is it makes it upgradable and flexible. To give you an example, the Weather Service broadcasts weather images that would be really helpful for backpackers, but if your radio isn't designed to receive them, then there's no way it will ever be able to. The portable SDR, on the other hand, is more like a computer or a smartphone. It can load new software that gives it new capabilities. That makes it a radio that can evolve and improve over time. I designed the portable SDR to be durable and easy to use. It's got a machined aluminum case with a polycarbonate front cover. The whole radio is operated with a single knob. You just push the knob and turn to select an item on the screen and then release and turn to change that item. It also has what's called a waterfall display. This part over here shows you radio signals so you can see what's happening and easily locate things to listen to. It also has a USB connector for things like uploading firmware, um, as well as future uses like keyboards or remote use over the internet. Most of the time when you hear about megahertz and gigahertz, more is better. But with very high frequency radio signals, they travel in straight lines. So if you're not close to a cell phone tower or a radio station, then you can't hear it. But there's a special band of frequencies up to about 30 megahertz that will bounce between the Earth's surface and the upper atmosphere. That means that you can hear stations from around the world. That's why with a shortwave radio, you can hear China, but you can't with the radio in your car. If you're out in remote areas, shortwave may be the only thing you'll be able to receive. That's why I designed the portable SDR to listen and transmit on these frequencies so that you can connect with people around the world. Using a shortwave radio at home can be challenging because of noise from things like power lines and computers. But when you're out away from civilization, it's much clearer and quieter. You can hear signals from further away. When I'm at home, I can jump on the internet and connect to anyone I need to. But to me, there's something magical about being in remote places and still being able to communicate with people around the world. It's also worth pointing out that in a disaster, radios like these may be the only way to communicate. The portable SDR also includes a GPS receiver. That means that in an emergency, it may be able to transmit your location even if you don't have cellular coverage. This is an open source project. That means that everything about the design is freely available. Anyone that's interested in helping make the portable SDR better is encouraged to do so. I tried to design the circuitry in the portable SDR to be easy to follow, so if you're learning electronics, it can be a useful tool. It also includes several advanced instruments, like a spectrum analyzer, antenna analyzer, and a vector network analyzer, that are useful instruments in their own right. You don't need a license to use the portable SDR to listen to broadcasts and other signals, but to take full advantage of its capabilities, you'll need an amateur radio license. They're not that hard to get, you'll learn a lot, and you may discover a new hobby. I plan on making kits available for people that are interested in making their own portable SDRs. I'm working on documentation that should make it easy. I also plan on selling assembled units. There's a lot more information that I haven't had time to share, so please click on the link below. I designed the portable SDR because this is the radio I wanted to have for my trips. Um, as I've been sharing information online, I've really been blown away by the response. There have been a lot of encouraging comments, and I really appreciate it. Apparently this is the radio a lot of you want as well. So, thank you for taking some time to watch.